So I have been wanting to big chop my hair for quite some time. I have been planning it for quite some time and it's not necessarily because of the current state you see my hair is in. Um, that's actually not by design or accident or neglect. That's just simply me having fun with my hair because I knew that this cut was coming. All right, so let's get into the whys. First why am I cutting my hair is because when I first went natural back in 2011, I grew my hair, I did like a transition grow out for a good 18 months or so and then I just chopped it all off because the two textures were driving me up, up a wall. It was just too much to deal with. And as soon as I chopped it all off, my hair grew like a weed. So I didn't get to really enjoy the play around with the TWA phase because back then natural hair was such a big thing. We were so focused on hair growth and retention. And so my hair might have been in a TWA for a hot second. Next thing I knew it was shoulder length. Next thing I knew it was mid back. And I grew it all the way to waist length up until I decided to start my YouTube channel. As y'all know, I started out doing makeup tutorials, but then I uploaded a random hair tutorial. It went viral and so I just built on the hair uh, influencing portion of it um, shortly after that I quit my corporate job and so of course when you're working in corporate for so long you don't get to do a whole lot of fancy things with your hair it was just you know either keep it natural color silk press you know that type of thing um, so as soon as I quit my job the first thing I did was dye my hair now I knew full blown well that the minute I bleached my hair it was not, it was going to decrease the integrity of it because I already knew that my hair did not do well with any kind of chemicals in it. But I went to a professional and I kept it maintained for a good year or so and it looked beautiful until I decided to dye it a different color um, and then didn't go to my normal professional and then that's when things went kind of downhill from there. Now I want to be very clear about something, whatever it is, whatever style that I've ever shown you guys has always been tested and proven to be safe and healthy for hair growth. These are all things that I did to my hair as far as protective styling goes before I even started a YouTube channel. I grew my health to a very healthy waist length and I kept it that way for a long time. The state you see my hair in now is essentially from all the color processing I did, all the excessive heat that I was putting on it because your girl wanted to wear a quick weave for her birthday and I just messed around and flat ironed the mess out of my leave out. So I'm growing that out too. But I, like I said, I knew that this cut was coming so it doesn't bother me. And on top of that, my entire life, I have always been a hair junkie. When I go into the hair beauty supply store, I'm a kid in a candy store. So hair has always been an accessory for me. Not only has it been one of my biggest assets for me, but it's always been an accessory for me because I feel like that's why I have so many outfits in my closet I haven't worn because I don't have the current hairstyle to go with that particular outfit. You get what I mean? So yeah, I'm chopping it all off and starting all over. But before I start a healthy hair growth journey again, I want to play around with some short styles for a little while. So you're probably wondering why I didn't go to a professional for this cut as well. And in all honesty, I was planning to do that. I have been looking up professionals for quite some time. I even had landed on one in Dallas that I was going to go to because I've been following his work for so long and loved it and trusted it. However, in the months leading up to my 40th birthday, I kept having dreams and I, something kept itching at me and telling me, girl, just do it yourself. Just do it yourself. So I don't know if it's a subconscious thing or something I had to prove to myself or what, but I something deep down in my soul told me that I had to do this cut myself. So what you've been watching me do is essentially winging it and trying to figure out um, what shape I wanted. I knew I wanted a tapered cut and I knew I wanted a little bit of height at the top of my head. Now not gonna lie, I did get pretty scissor happy and I wanted to go even shorter because I really wanted to do a full blown pixie. But 
your girl had some videos in the holster that needed to go up and I needed some hair to do it. I also wanted to make sure I had some kind of a shape to work with because I knew for a fact I was not going to do a relaxer. If anything, I was going to wear this in its curly state most of the time um, and then just blow it out and flat iron it whenever I wanted to. Now because this was impromptu, I got hubby to line me up in the back. Um, but I ended up going to a barber a week later just to get it nice and cleaned up because I wanted it to grow out evenly. So yeah, after I did the dry cut, I went ahead and washed and conditioned my hair just to see if the taper looked where I wanted it to be. But then I went ahead and blow dried my hair out, flat ironed it and curled it just to see if I needed to clean up any lines in the back or the sides. And let me tell you something, when God speaks, you better listen because let me tell you, I am so proud of myself for this cut. I loved it so much. I wanted to do this cut since I was in middle school. It's definitely giving welcome to the 40s club, SWV, um, rich auntie at the Thanksgiving dinner or cookout. I love everything about this. It looks so healthy, so bouncy, so shiny, and all I did was just blow it out and flat iron it. So note, your girl won't be doing any relaxers. So rest assured, I'm gonna have some pixie content coming up because I am actually going shorter. I already have an appointment booked this weekend for a stylist to do a full blown pixie on me. Um, but of course, this doesn't stop the hair content. There's so many options available and I hope I can be a positive representative for the pixie girlies out there for at least the next six months to a year or so. And then we're gonna jump back into growing our hair healthy and long again. Now one thing I've always hated about my hair is the dusty brown color, the natural dusty brown color I have. I would prefer to be jet black but I am committed to not going back to dyeing my hair so wish me luck you guys. We may have to come up with some other alternatives because I really am not the biggest fan of this natural hair color. Um, even though it is what God gave me, um, I feel like it just doesn't flatter a lot of my skin tones in some lights. So that's just, that's just my problem, not y'all's. So yeah, the hair content ain't going to stop. We're going to be right here rocking and rolling. If you learned something from this video, felt inspired by this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. I truly am grateful and thankful for each and every one of you guys for showing up with every single upload. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button on your way out and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!